What's up guys, Jacob here, AKA Kinetic Diabetic. Hi, I'm Sheena and I'm a type one diabetic. How's it going? My name is Owen Costello. I am type one diabetic from Dublin in Ireland. Hey guys, Stephanie here from Thriving Diabetic. My name's Charlotte. I am the founder of Diabetic and Healthy. My name's Ali, at type one Al. My name is Brandon Mao and I was diagnosed as a type one diabetic at the age of three. And we're here to talk about Hypos. Hypos are horrendous. They are the worst experience as a diabetic. The lowest reading I've ever had was 1.8. My worst blood sugar that is readable before it goes low <laughs> and it doesn't give you a number is 22. I woke up and at the time I didn't realize this, but my sugar was around 20. I was asleep and woke up from a hypo so woke up sweating woke up shaking and I checked my blood sugar and it was 1.2. And I checked my blood sugar and it was 1.6. I was feeling very strange at this point and I'd never never seen it that low so I went downstairs walked into the lounge where my parents were and just said hypo. When it comes to hypo cures my go-to's are usually honey or any kind of sugary candy, or even just water mixed with sugar, or even sometimes just plain old sugar. Juice is my go-to. If I can get it, that's the perfect thing to treat my hypos. I have been at a friend's house where they didn't have any juice, and actually just like opened a sugar packet and then just like gargled it with water and then like drank that. I enjoy raisins when I'm low. I also enjoy applesauce or occasionally candy. Mentos, orange Gatorade, and Starbursts. I describe a hypo as kind of like an out-of-body experience and you get this primal hunger which is difficult to understand until you feel it coming on and every fiber of your being is screaming out for food. And when I woke up, I was above my body. You know, I was elsewhere. <laughs> my body was dying, crying out for big amounts of food. So I ate everything in sight. And I have found myself more than once digging through trash, trying to find some sugar or some thrown away candy or anything to eat. Hypos can creep up anytime, any place, and in some really inconvenient ones too. The lows are always, you know, at the worst possible times. I've had hypos in some weird places. Some of my worst hypoglycemic episodes include... There was one time I felt a low coming on in the queue at airport security. Uh, ended up pushing my way to the front of the queue with my two friends ahead of me shouting, DIABETIC! DIABETIC! At the gym, when it's kind of weird because you feel tired, but it's a weird kind of tiredness where you don't kind of overcome it and then you're like, oh, this might be a low blood sugar. Make way for the diabetic! I used to train a lot, so when I swam, I dived in during a race once, thought I was going low, turns out I wasn't, which was even worse. My coach sprinted down, like the poolside to check I was okay. Ended up slipping, breaking his leg. He just had a newborn kid. All a bit of a mess, really. When I was growing up, I would go to sporting events. And as you're sitting in the stands, the cheerleaders are throwing candy out to the audience. But one of the times I happened to have been low and candy was flying, I couldn't reach anything. I was asking friends and people to please give me pieces of candy. They said no. I snuck underneath down below into the dirt and I was picking out candy that fell through, <laughs> opening it up and eating it. At sleepovers, when you don't really know what's in someone's fridge and you kind of have to awkwardly ask them like, can I drink your apple juice because you just really need some sugar? So I was in bed and I was like that shaking, I could barely move. I only had enough energy to get glucose tablets from the side of my bed inhaled about 10 of them, lay there hoping I wouldn't pass out. Thankfully I didn't, my blood sugar came back up slightly. On the plane, and I'm a window seat kind of person, so it's like, can't really get up and go look for um, any juice or something, but I have to get the flight attendant quick and be like, hey, can I have some orange juice? And then they take forever and then you're just like, 
Well. <laughs> being sat on a plane, being sat on a, uh, a train. And I was on the train, also known as the Metro, and I had passed out. And I was woken up with the announcement of it being the last stop of the night and I had been passed out for over five hours. I had a hypo at the start of a date. Like a, a date, I guess, I was pretty young. Didn't have any food on me. So sat for like an hour and a half during this film, feeling like absolute shit, not saying anything to this girl because I felt horrendous and I was just concentrating on not dying. I've gone low at movies and at concerts. In the end, I just ended up like inhaling my whole plate of pasta and the guy was just like, well, you must have been really hungry. And I was like, oh no, actually I was having a low blood sugar. I've had too many lows with friends, with groups of people hanging out. Just luckily for me, I've ran into situations where I had friends and, and they're like, Brandon needs a Snickers. I have had hypo dreams. So a number of, <laughs> a number of times I have in a dream, been running down the aisle of a supermarket, grabbing food, 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 chocolate, sugar, sweets, throwing it into my mouth, trying to get my blood sugar back up in the dream. And I wake up and my blood sugar is plummeted. It has happened during client presentations before, but um, luckily not while I was actually presenting, but you know, while the client was giving their feedback, I was sitting on the opposite side of the table and just being like, I've been found low and hypo at work and have had to been waken up too many times to count. On nights out, I get it on nights out, but that's not normally too big of a deal because you're drinking on nights out, so you just order a full sugar drink and that solves it. There was one time at university when I had a low on a night out and I was a little drunk and decided that a sugary drink at the bar just wouldn't cut it. So I took the opportunity to march back to my accommodation and demolish an entire packet of chocolate biscuits in my room. Just inconvenient times, I guess, during the night. Those tricky ones, obviously, if you're in bed with someone else. <laughs> yeah, I've gone low after sex before. Once that I kind of had it during an exam, it takes a while for your brain to kind of like get back to working normally. So especially during an exam, it can be quite inconvenient, but I hope it didn't affect my grade. Maybe I'd have gotten a better grade if I hadn't had that low blood sugar. Luckily, I've never been in serious trouble or required urgent professional medical intervention, but I know things can get that bad and I know there is always that risk. And I then proceeded to kind of keel over onto the sofa. I didn't full on pass out, but I kind of seizured. So my mum said my eyes were rolling back um, in my head. My sister came over to check on me. I was up walking around apparently, and I didn't know this. It wasn't that frightening for me because I didn't really know much about it, but obviously very, very frightening for my parents. I've been found hypo and unconscious too many times to count. When she came in my house, she tried to help me get my blood sugar up by rubbing honey on my gums, and eventually she ended up calling the paramedics. They rang an ambulance, um, and by the time it got there, I'd already come round. And I was woken up by paramedics telling me that I'm lucky to be alive. I tried talking to them, I tried joking with them, but my words weren't coming out. Needless to say, it was an exhausting experience. I was emotionally exhausted and it was traumatic. It took me an entire day to replay what happened in my mind and kind of piece together and process really what happened. Other people have found me and have had to give me glucagon or um, shove sugary drinks or Sprite or Gatorade down my throat to try to get me to come to. I had a sudden quite severe low, so it was I think maybe 1.8. I drank a sugary drink and sat down on the sofa and the next thing I knew I came round with my dog like frantically jumping on my chest um, and I had obviously passed out. It was probably due to activity or over bolusing the night before. Yeah, it was really kind of none the wise. I just had a bit of a hypo hangover, so it was feeling a bit rough. But these situations arise, don't they? It's just part of being diabetic. I'm just thankful every day to be alive.